Hey, and welcome back to Renee Ruth Music. I'm your host, Fred Jackson, and I'm with my lovely co-star, co-host, co-host <laughs> CEO, <laughs> the lady in charge. <laughs> Like, can you imagine trying to put that all oh, on yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like Renee Ruth? Oh. I'm like, let me roll out. <laughs> how you doing? Good. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Yeah, doing good. Yeah. Doing good. You Are know? you excited about the more done with this podcast? We got some work to do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you excited? Yes, I'm very excited. Are you excited? It's because we got a brief. And do you want to explain to to them what, what a that brief is, is real what quick is? before we get going? Yeah, well, since you're new to this. Yeah. yeah. So, so I have been working, most of the music I made in the last two years were inspired by a brief. So somewhere, a brief is a company. And for example, it could be a, a car company, a fashion company, a, a clothing, a fashion clothing, anyone, a TV show, a movie, anyone that needs, who has film that needs music to it. So, you know, you, it's, uh, we don't often see film without sound, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Silence air is gone. So you have, every time there's film, they have to put talking or, or, or music. And so somewhere along the way, it, music, at first it used to be like, I don't know if you remember, like TV shows would have bands mm -hmm. that would do the music for the whole show, or they'd mm -hmm. hire the TV, <clears throat> the network would have that guy that did all the music for, you know, mm -hmm. so a guy was hired to do all yeah, the music. Yeah, to do, yeah. And then somewhere along the way, they, like, they started to use this artist's music or that artist, and so they started to pick, and then somewhere that developed into like, oh, we need someone in the middle who knows all the artists with the music that can connect to all the people with the, that need the music together. We're going to call that a sync agent. And so the sync is the connection of film mm -hmm. to sound, to music, and a brief is what that particular company is looking for. The problem with briefs are they could be as general as we need a pop song. Okay. <laughs> it's like billions. <laughs> or like the one we're going to work on tonight was like, hey, there's a fashion brand mm -hmm. looking for something upbeat, dancey. Like, and there's a list of things that they're like, oh, and also here are four songs that we like mm -hmm. but cannot use for many, a myriad of reasons. Right. Um, so we want someone to, we want, whoever's reading this to have their, their staff at it. Oh, by the way, it pays this. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes the pay is exponential. Mm -hmm. So it's enough in this instance is enough that I was like, Fred, let's try. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Fred, let's try. We, we got to give this one a try. I was like, Fred, let's try. <laughs> so I've been doing this by myself in the past. Uh -huh. I was just working through, I told Fred it was kind of like WWF. It was like me in the ring with the brief fighting out a song, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and because it's not, they don't want that song, like, or they may, because there's usually three or four options, so obviously they didn't want all four of them. Mm -hmm. They want, here are the things we like, you know, what do you like, let's see if we can, so I just leaned in, like, I would listen to them and whatever leaned closer to my mm -hmm. vibe yeah, is what yeah. I leaned into. Right. But right. that's, I'm sorry, that's a long-winded way of saying that's what a brief is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's that's good for the audience out there so they can know what we're talking about, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and then also the musicians who was maybe curious on how do you get to that point. So, no, that was, that was good. That was a good explanation, you know. So that's – well, because we didn't have – did you even know what sync was five mm -mm. years ago? I sure didn't. Mm -mm. If mm -mm. it wasn't for Finn, shout out Finn. What up? If it wasn't for Finn, we wouldn't know. Remember, yeah, Finn, Finn yeah. dropped that little nugget mm -hmm. like one Christmas. I was yep. like, you guys need to check this out. Mm -hmm. And then right when the pandemic hit, um, I found a class and ended up in this class and just taking class after class after class. Yep. Yeah. Because I was just fascinated with this entire field of music that could generate better income than the money we were making on on, they play a lot of shows yeah, or something like, like that. Yeah, like these little local gigs. So, mm -hmm. um, But the, the trick is, once you write the music, you have to pitch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I got real busy writing a whole bunch of music. Uh -huh. And I would send it in for the brief, but like I didn't – it's kind of like the idea of like you don't, you don't just try once. Mm -hmm. Like you have to keep sending. And I, I didn't keep. Like I would write to the brief. I'd send it in. If it didn't get it, I was like, well, and then I'd go to the next song. Right, right. <laughs> Instead of like 
that's not the attitude. The attitude is like, okay, it wasn't for that one. Let's find where it goes, mm -hmm. right? Like if you thought of all your songs as looking for a home and you're like, they all have a, there's a home for them all. We have to go find it, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. that takes time. And Fred can identify with like multiple jobs, multiple, yeah. you know, the time isn't always there. So I've hired someone that's going to do this for us. <laughs> hired, thank you so much, Simone. She's in the Philippines and she's going to find homes for <laughs> So what is your process of finding a brief and beginning to work with it? Like, do you seek them out or do they come to you? Like, I go looking. My dream, Fred, I've told you this, my dream is to like build relationships mm -hmm. so that we become like, they know what we can do, how we can write. Right. And that they they come to us. Mm -hmm. Hey, we got this. We we got this need. It's coming up in two weeks. It's coming up in a month. But like, we know you can write like this. Here, could you write here? Write this for us. Right. I want them. I want them to come to me. Yeah. But right now, no, no, no. It's kind of like selling houses. Yeah. <laughs> At first, you have to go find them. Uh. So now I'm looking. So I'm I'm digging through. Um, there's so there's different websites that you can become a part of. Um, some are free, some you pay for, like taxis one, like there's different ones where they will send you briefs. Um, I opt for more of the free ones right now. Um, and then like if you get into different libraries, they'll send out briefs to their library mm. if they can't find what's housed in it or ready for it. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got a couple avenues where they come from, okay. but I'm looking. Like yeah. I, I don't have anyone going, hey, you could write this. Can you do that? I don't have right, that yet. Right. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Hey. You know, you got to start somewhere. You yes. got to crawl before you walk, right? This is where we're <laughs> And Fred's about to start crawling into his first oh, little yeah, song. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, this, it's going to be a good process or a, a new journey for new, me. Yes. You know, because I'm such a, a, like, a last performing musician, you know? Well, you know, so. whenever, whenever in our musical past, we've never, apart from, <laughs> apart from now. Uh-huh. Because we did do that right, together. Right, right, yeah. Um, but, like, I would show up. I'd have the song finished. I'd actually show up at the game. Like, here's a new song, guys. And then we'd yeah. all just, like. Yep, you try to learn it on the spot. And it's like, all right. <laughs> As uh, we went. Yep, yep. Fred would sit and listen to me go the first verse. Yeah. And he'd come in on the chorus. Uh -huh. But he knew what the verse was going to be kind of like. So the second verse would come in a little more. Yeah. And then he was ready for the, the second chorus. Uh -huh. And then we'd all just, like, bam, 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 yeah. out. So, like, yeah, right. I, I remember a friend. Right, right. That was your process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but now we're sitting at the table, and I'm like, Here's what they're asking so for. this yeah the friend i need a beat right he's like i'll get your beat i'm like no i need a beat and a really cool bass line uh, <laughs> yeah um so and that's what that's going to lead to my next question was like how do you begin the writing so you was already t you know talking about you know so like the one that we can use the example the one that we are kind of working on now Oh, you currently? Know. Uh huh. So you not know, now. not now. Because <laughs> that's the first. That one we is did. a song. <laughs> that that, is that's the, song the first that one we that we did. <laughs> it's called now. Yeah, but not. <laughs> but not now. Not the way. <laughs> <laughs> but but um, but yeah. So you was already kind of speaking about that, but maybe go in um, a little bit more detailed on. Is it easier to know what you're writing, like who you're writing for, like the audience or the company, or do you just go off of the reference tracks that they give you or the descriptions? Like, like what is what is that process like? Fred, it's, you said it best earlier because he was just like, "Can we know who the company is?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> yeah. He's like, "That would make it so much easier." I was like, "It would." Yeah. <laughs> um, and there's probably so many legal reasons that they can't disclose who it is. Correct. So yeah. we are left with, and, and sometimes you don't even get reference tracks. So I've learned that if you're going to write to a brief without a reference track, it's literally like closing your eyes, spinning around five times, and then trying to throw a dart mm -hmm. into the bullseye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's, that's how li likely that is. With the reference tracks, though, I feel like you have a stronger chance because you don't know the brand. But listening to those tracks, tell we learned a few things about that brand, mm -hmm. or at least what that brand liked sonically. Right. Right. So, right. I feel like there's a greater chance when there's a reference track mm -hmm. to get to get placed. Um, but I would say this, like as an artist, 
I, I would never give up my artistry to fit into. So I don't go after every brief. Like I listen to the reference tracks and if they seem to align or I could get them to align mm -hmm. with the space I'm already in, right, then I'll, I'll right, pick those. Right. I, but there's many like, we need classic rock. Pass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need hip hop. <laughs> like I don't even read what it is because it's not my space, right, right? Right. So like it's that whole thing of like you staying in your lane. Less is more. Yeah. You you right. you know your role. <laughs> <laughs> and I know your role. <laughs> I do <laughs> in a cinematic pop <laughs> or a singer songwriter. Uh -huh. It is not hip hop. <laughs> it is not R and B. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. We actually like tried a hip hop one last year, and I and I literally was like, no. Uh, that's just nope. No, 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 no. Nope. Wasn't happening, huh? Nope. <laughs> nope. So wait, let me finish that thought. <coughs> so you were asking uh -huh. about like how I write. Mm -hmm. I told Fred this is new for me. I don't usually write with people ever. It's very new for me. Mm -hmm. I'm like letting you into my space, and it's yeah. only because we've worked together for twelve years. But yeah, I don't, right, right. And we co-wrote that one time together. Yeah, yeah. But I don't usually co-write. Like usually my process is like me at my house. I like play with my dog, wear him out. And then I, I light all these candles that smell good. And then I, and I literally, the house has to be clean. Cause if it's not clean, I can't think. And then I, then I literally lay in my, I have vaulted ceilings and I lay on the floor and I'm like, and then I start, I'm like, I start to think about what the lyrics should be. And then I'll go to the piano and I'll try to play out a, a melody line. I'm like, no, that sucks. I'll try another one. Like, no, that sucks. And then I'll be like, so I'll start singing a line. And like, so this is, this is this dance that I do between laying on the floor and the piano. And I'm like, mm -hmm. and the dog's looking at me like I'm a mental person. And like, Somewhere in that, it starts to take shape. And I don't, I cannot tell you how. Right. And then, like, all of a sudden, I'm like, there it is. Okay, that makes sense. And, like, I just, I can hear it. And then I get to the point where it's, I can scratch it out and send it to the producer, mm -hmm. who then makes more sense of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm, sometimes the words, sometimes the words don't come. Like, sometimes I'm singing, like, la, 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 la. Like, I'm not singing words. Like, I'm like, this is definitely the melody line. Mm -hmm. But the words, because I don't like to write just any words. Like mm -hmm. I like the words to be really good, but yeah. I don't, it, that could take longer. And so in order to keep the process moving, I'll send the melody line and the, and the, the singing line and the keys line to get the, because sometimes the words will come when I hear more of the production mm -hmm. done. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, I feel that. Like I feel, okay, yeah, okay, I feel, you nah, know. Yeah. And so then I, then I send scratch vocals and, and then they send back. Their comp, I comp vocals after and just back and forth, back and forth until it gets to done. So when we did it, he and I were like, beep, boop, beep. Like we're trying to make like the, <laughs> the bass line and we're like, oh, that sounds so bad. And I kept saying, well, find someone who can tell us how to make that sound better. Uh -huh. And then like the drums were so cheesy and we're like, that sounds mm -hmm. so bad. And we're like, well, find someone who can make it sound better. Mm -hmm. Like, but we did a whole song. I mean, we knew yeah. what we wanted it to right, be. Right, right. We just, did not have the skills. Yeah. Still don't. Willing to work on it though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a that's just a whole new world right there. You know, like like me as a drummer, I only have one kick drum. And that's the one right there in front yeah, of me. Yeah, like your foot works. Yeah. Yeah. But on a computer, like in. Do you want the eight hundred eight? Do you want the nine hundred nine? How about a seven hundred seven? Do you? I like, probably we're going through like all these things, and Fred's like pushing. No. No, no. I'm like, you could spend a lifetime. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah. And then, then it's like, wait, go back to the other one. What Which one? It? Which one were you talking about? You have to go back and listen to them all again. I was like, there's got to be a better way to do this. Someone out there tell us how to do it. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so, okay, so you got the brief. Yeah. You got the, you, you got the words. You got the melody. Yes. You got the beat, you got the bass line. Everything is together. everything is is yep, everything is coming together. So when everything is done, what's the next steps? You gotta pitch that thing. <laughs> so clearly we pitched the brief, assuming we make it by the May 12th deadline. That is the deadline. Uh -huh. Um assuming we get there, I would pitch to that for sure. But I've learned it's kind of like, you know, if you went to Vegas. You went to Vegas. I did. He liked Vegas. If you went to Vegas and you played like the first thing and you lost and then you never played again because <laughs> you lost. Mm -hmm. What fun is that? <laughs> and also you can't win if you never play again. <laughs> so like when I go to, well, I went to Vegas with my, or I went to um, 
Stephanie took me to the casino. Uh-huh. And like, I lo- you know, I lost. Like, I was losing. She goes, no, keep going. And I was like, but I'm losing. She goes, and I, man, she goes, I feel it's coming. And I mean, I was down to like $5. And then, like, but had I quit. Right. Do you right. know what I'm saying? Like, I think we always give up. And that's what I tell Fred. We're not attached to that brief. Mm-hmm. That brief is our inspiration right. to create the next track mm-hmm. that maybe is for that brief. Yeah. Or maybe it's going to be for another really awesome mm-hmm. something else. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So, the, so when it's done, the next step is to get it, is to pitch it. And that's hustle. That's your hustle. Like, that's my hustle. Like, yeah. I have to, I have to find its home. I've got to find who, mm-hmm. where will it fit? Because. You think between gaming, Netflix, all the internet shows, all the TV, mm-hmm. all the different streaming shows, everybody needs music. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> like, somebody needs it. You just have to find, like, it's just, yes. you got to find a home. Yep, yep. And that's a good way of putting putting it. And um, and I hope our track. Wouldn't it be so cool if we got to come back on and be like, they took it's it. It's a home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't it be so cool? Yeah. Oh, man. That's awesome. I hope this was interesting for you guys, but I'm going to leave this with Fred. I found a fun fact. Something what? that he may not know. Yes! Fred, okay. I'm going to bring you something at the end of these things because he does a good job of, like, questionnaireing me. So I'm like, okay, okay, you ready? All right. So you know, Fred, that we we used to do all our cover shows, and mm-hmm. I would always play, like, Let It Be. Right. And people loved it. Or, mm-hmm. like, we didn't really do Hey Jude, but... You remember the Beatles? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Did you know that none of the Beatles could read or write music? Really? <laughs> what? That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> He's like, those three chord changes at a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, none of them. No. Um, and the reason why is because, you know, like I know tons of, of musicians yeah. that doesn't know how to read or write music you know um i'm down to like sixth seventh grade you know <laughs> six seven i know you can know? you imagine that? but 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 I, i'm a self-taught musician yeah, you know yeah. I, i've been playing ever since i was two or three years old you yeah. know um and i know a lot of other musicians they just grew up just my dad put a guitar in my hand and i just started playing and they're just like wow and like okay it and, and there it is yeah. you know um, no real formal learning. So that doesn't surprise me. And it's always the, not always, but it's, I, I find it fascinating that the people that I really, truly enjoy listening to, when I go look them up, there is no schooling. Because <laughs> there's something from the soul. It's just a, just a natural born yeah, talent. Yeah, there's something. You know? Yeah. Where it, and and yeah. that's the thing, like, it explains their three chord changes because those are easy. Mm-hmm. So the, it's not so correct. This, although some people who are who don't know how to read or write music, um, they can still they're they're playing changes that like right, they right. can't even tell you what they are. Correct. They just hear yeah. Them. Yeah. And, um, it, and it and it goes for like the styles of music too. It does. You know, for the instance, genres, yeah, yeah. For instance, like if you're trying to play with the symphony, you got to go to school with that. <laughs> you, you got to go to school for that. Let me tell you that I got schooled as a vocalist. Uh-huh. <laughs> Singing with the opera singer. Uh-huh. Well, how do you sing your own? I was like, there's a way. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, the way I do. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Isn't that the way? Uh huh. <laughs> I was like, I'm an artist. Yeah. The O's come out how they come out. Yeah. No, there's a way to sing it out, and I was not doing it right. Right, right. I- so. Luckily, I was dubbed the, the pop singer, so there was some allowances for me. Like, yeah, yeah. there was still like sideways, like, yeah. she's not singing her O's correctly. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I, look, I was like, yeah, I don't even know how to do that. Like, I didn't even pretend. I was like, you are definitely better than I am. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, I said, could you come down to my level? <laughs> I am not getting to yours. <laughs> But thank you for letting me sing with this movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, and that's the thing, too, is that I think that, like, spinning off that for, like, a second, because this was only supposed to be a fun fact, but, like, the artistry behind an artist, like, there, there's the classical and mm-hmm. then there's the art. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, right. and art exists in classical, but it also has its own free form. Oh, right, right. And that's, I right. think, a lot of what those mm-hmm. guys who are. Yeah. And, and I was going to say, and I was gonna, also was going to say, like, some of the newer artists that I'm listening to, 
and the ones who are a little bit more complex in their music when i go to, to look them up yeah they they've been to berkeley, berkeley and all these <laughs> other music schools and it's like yeah i definitely hear i it, heard you that know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know so it I'd pays like, off yeah yeah so either way you know it, it doesn't matter you know it's you know I, I love the musicians who are just naturally born talented musicians you can't take that away from someone um who who who, who went to school no you, you know just and, a, and, a... and but the, I, I will say i will say and this is my personal experience and i know i'm going over time and everything yeah, woo. but learn how to jam <laughs> Meaning, learn how to play spontaneous, like, like, oh, okay, someone put you in the key of G and just roll with it. Because I know in college, I could tell the ones who were natural born talent musicians yeah. versus I went to school for this. Based off whether they could jam. Yeah. They, they used to come to jam sessions. They would be like, <laughs> all right, I'm ready to jam. They got that real book. I'm like. What are you doing, player? Like, like we, we <laughs> we're just gonna play. Like, we're just gonna play. Like, whatever is in your heart, <laughs> whatever's in your mind, <laughs> however you're feeling right now, we're gonna let it all out. <laughs> <laughs> we're not turning the chapter on page chapter three chapter or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what. <laughs> Look, and I'm saying this as someone who cannot jam, that's a skill too. Yeah. My problem with jamming is I probably could, I just don't, my music theory got lost in the decade. So like, Fred's lucky because jamming on the drums doesn't require a key signature. It's the rest of us are like, what key did you just go to? <laughs> but there's another podcast I can explain my jamming. To back to, 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 defend, to defend the other drummers who just think, we only got no key changes. Oh, I want to hear this part. Okay, so that's going to segue. <laughs> Come on back next week. Check us out next week. <laughs> I'm going to sit on that side. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to switch seats. We're going to all about Fred jamming on the drum. <laughs> Thanks for joining, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.